Guys, you won't believe what SB tried to do. If that guy actually thought he could pull a fast one on me and prank me. He tried to take advantage of the fact that I was sick and vulnerable and tried to pull off this prank on me. My throat is killing me. Is it? Yeah. I'm to go get some hauls right now. Man. Just want to get this video over with. Yeah, make them thicker so that way uh, they can see it. I don't know about the color on it. I think it's purple. Yeah, let's make a <laughs> something. Man, why do I have to get sick when it's so hot out there? I hate it too, man. I hate getting sick. It's just the worst. What, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? As you guys can tell, he tried and failed in a way because, you know, that prank was a kitty prank. It wasn't like an extreme prank. I thought that if he was going to go after me, he would go hard, which he didn't. And he left the door open for me to prank him now. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm sick still, but that does not stop me from pulling off a prank on him. So in this video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to set up a prank on SB that he will not see coming. And he will not know what hit him until it's too late. So if you want to watch the whole video, go for it. It's in the link below and in the cards up here. You guys be the judge. He tried to embarrass me pretty much, guys. And you know I'm the prank king. I set up pranks. I don't get pranked on. So SB, I'm coming after you now. All right, so for this prank that I'm gonna pull off on SB, I'm gonna be using three water bottles that are filled with water like this. If you guys ever wanna pull off this prank, you don't have to use water, you could use anything you want, but I think water will do just fine for this prank. I'm gonna set this up on a door, which is the door that SB is gonna be coming through. Now this door is gonna be booby trapped with three of these on top of the door, and I'm gonna show you right now how to set it up if you ever wanna pull it off on somebody that supposedly got you with a prank. But before we head over to the door, let me show you some other stuff that we'll be using for this prank. As you guys can see right here, I have three water bottles, all of which I'm gonna be using for this prank. Right here, I have some rope. And over here, I have three push pins that we're gonna be needing as well. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working on one water bottle, and whatever I do to this one water bottle, I'll eventually do to the other two. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a piece of string around it and I'm going to give it enough length so that I'm able to attach this to the ceiling as well. So about a foot and a half will do. I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to tie it to the water bottle on the middle. So make sure it's super tight and that it will not come loose. That works for me. And now the other end guys, we're going to tie it to a push pin. All right, this is gonna be attached to the ceiling. Now, as far as the top of the bottle, it needs to remain open, no cap on it, because we're gonna spread some Vaseline on it. You guys can use any type of grease, such as hair product or maybe even lard. Spread it around the edge. That works, look at that. Right here, I have some aluminum tape, and all I need is a little piece like this to cover the top. Like so. Now, this piece of aluminum foil, I can peel back the little screen and it'll be sticky, so that is perfect. But now let's head over to the door. And since I'll be using both of my hands, I'll have to resort to using my GoPro for these next few shots. All right, guys, well, here's the door that we're gonna be using, and it's pretty dirty right now, but don't worry about it, guys. It won't be an issue. So first thing on top of the door, we're gonna run a strip of clear tape. Something like this. That way it doesn't leak. Something like this, guys. Cover the door. You should be just fine. Also because the aluminum tape will stick better to this plastic. In fact, I'm gonna put another strip. Okay, and now it's time to place the water on top of the door. But we gotta be super, super fast and careful here because this water, we're gonna flip it upside down. So let's do that real quick. We're gonna lay it on top of the tape. But right before we do that, let's peel off the little screen on the aluminum tape. If it leaks, it's okay guys. Don't worry about it if it leaks. That is perfect. Now we're gonna take the push pin and stick it to the ceiling, like so. And the prank is set. As you guys can see, the water bottles are up there on top of the door. As you guys can see, I have the stains from the party snaps and then my dog has been beating up the bottom. But anyway guys, the prank is set. The door is slightly opened, as it should be. And now this is the garage door, so I'm gonna ask SB to come through the garage door because I told him that my front door was busted. So it's not working. And the water bottles are hanging upside down. Now, if one of these water bottles happens to fall on top of SB's head, 
that would be a plus but that's not what we're going for we're actually trying to get him wet so let's see if it works guys which I know it will so let's set him up I just gotta wait for him to show up when he goes through this door he's gonna get it and as you guys can see I've uh, pulled forward the fridge because it's in the way and I left the broom sticking out so I'm hoping that'll be a distraction for him so he doesn't look up there's also a tennis ball there, so that's plenty of distraction for him, so he won't look up. Now, I think if he's smart, he's gonna try to pick up that broom, and that'll keep him there for a bit longer, so he gets wet even more, guys. So, I'm just waiting for him to show up now. So, I got the best seat in the house right now, and <laughs> let's see what happens. Hey, can you get that broom? Yo! <laughs> Even better! <laughs> and you got the whole setup, man! <laughs> what? Did you not think it was fishy, man, and I had you come in through the uh, garage rather than the front door? My <laughs> phone! <laughs> Look hey, at that! Hey, look at his back! <laughs> Hey, come here, come here, let me see the back of your neck. And it's got Vaseline on, your, on the back of your neck. So this is your way of getting back at me? Of course, man. Man, my shoes are Did wet. Did you honestly think you were going to get away with that, man? Wow. You got me when I was six, so now I'm getting you when I'm at my 100%. Well, not even 100, and I still got you. Man, look at the best you made. <laughs> wow, man, you got me good. Hey. I thought someone threw a, a water bottle at me from the back over there. I thought you were hiding somewhere. Wow, oh. <laughs> and you got the camera. Man, this was a complete setup. I'm not going to trust you anymore. You should have known better not to even start a prank war with me. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you for this. Look at the mess you made. <laughs> wow. All right, pranksters. Unfortunately, the prank didn't go as planned. Yes, I did get SB, but the prank that I originally wanted to execute wasn't executed in the way that I wanted it to. So basically right here, the setup is for the water bottle to be on top of the door hanging from a push pin with a string. So when the door is opened by your victim, the bottle will become exposed and the water will start pouring down and that one person that just happened to open that door at that specific time. So this is basically how it would be guys. Okay, so I just replaced that water bottle that didn't have any water in it with a bottle that does. Just to give you guys a better example of how this prank should have played out and how wet SB should have been. So somebody will come through this door, open it, and they'll have a little surprise waiting for them on top. Just like this. <laughs> See how wet they would have gotten guys? Now imagine if that bottle was full. I only had it half full, but if it would have been completely full, then that person would have looked like a fool. <laughs> that would have been SB by the way. Ah, I think I still got him though with the water bottles falling on him. I'm sure they were heavy and he did get wet. So it's like win-win. As you guys just saw, the prank didn't go as I planned. Obviously all the bottles fell on top of SB, which is a good thing. But the purpose of the prank was for them to spill water on him directly and have three big streams coming down on him. Well, what happened was that the water bottles fell on top of him. Don't worry, he still got wet and I still got him with the prank, but it didn't work out as well. But, which at this point I don't care guys because I needed to get this guy. I needed to get him good and I think I achieved that. So if you guys agree with that, I hope you gave this video a thumbs up. If you guys want to see me prank him again, prank him harder, let me know in the comments below and subscribe for more. Also, go check out his channel. I'm sure he's going to try to prank me in the near future. You better believe I'm going to get you back. <laughs> so if you guys want to go and check that out, check out his channel. Link below in the cards. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you pranksters in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, now you gotta switch out your, uh, your shorts. Sure.
steroids? I might end up going with boxers or something, man. You might have to. <laughs> Hey, tell me you brought an extra pair. Yeah, they're fun challenges, man. At least for us viewers. <laughs> I don't know about you. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. I think I'm going to go with number one. Go for it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Why Look you... at that, guys. <laughs> Why did you grab it like that? Because <laughs> I was excited. Damn. <laughs> 